This is just a boy. What has the computer been saying? Of course I've been saying. If I tell you that, you're going to be worried now. Why do you want? What about paper cups? A bath or a practice. <laughs> there you go. Bounce up. The in jokes, the punchline. Punchline in the penguin rounds. What's that had an effect on you? Why, why, you, why do you remember the rappers joke? Because they're so amazing. Yeah, it's so amazing. <laughs> punchline and impression, the speech being very amazing. For example, that's how you remember the speech, that's how you remember whatever happened. So, speeches. In a converse, if I start a speech with this, <coughs> Evening, my name is Kelvin. I'd like to talk to you about speech structures. Compared to the first one, I was throwing chocolate, what do you think I would be, you would be doing? Secondly, you probably on be on here. That's a hint. <laughs> Other way around. The first thing you're doing is Snapchatting your family saying, copy speaking is crap. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> Secondly, you'd be swiping left on my Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have a Tinder, so it's not good. So, yes, structure. Amazing structure, punchline structure, impressions. Structures are so crucial, it's basically the wrapping in a penguin bar. No matter how penguin bars crack, no matter how crap they are, or how, no matter how disgusting chocolate is, wrapping bar always makes how you actually sell them in the product. And essentially, structure is how you deliver, is how you market, or how you advertise your speech. It's basically the outer layer of it. For example, the reason why I'm doing this, I'm speaking here, standing here, is to inform you the importance of structure, speech structure, to deliver the ideas of speech structure, or to sway you to attempt a give a go at having a decent speech structure. On the contrary, your purpose <coughs> speaking here is to be informed about public speaking, is to learn more about public speaking, or perhaps to be engaged in the public society. So there's a massive difference between me being here and you in the audience here. So if I do deliver a daunting speech, a crappy speech or rubbish structure, you'll be disengaged. You'll probably on your phone, you'll probably be sleeping in a lecture hall, like my professor does anyway. A good structure should actually be engaging, engaging the audience, be actually stimulating your interest, arouse interest, arouse enthusiasm towards the speech. And this requires good speech planning. A good speech planning is essential when you draft a speech, for example, I was doing this training speech, I was making a draft. Draft and draft. Make sure it's structured so that you get the most out of it. Or repeating this step in a speech planning, you make an effective speech. Before drafting your speech, the first thing you have to do is to know the purpose of the speech. Why am I doing this speech? Or perhaps, what's the purpose of the speech? Could, it, could this speech be about inform, informing, informing you of a certain thing, the informative speech? Or perhaps it could be a technical speech, delivering ideas of the newest technological advances in the world. Or perhaps about personal stories, about your personal journey in your life, or personal experiences. Having identified these purposes will probably tell you what kind of introduction to require. For example, if I'm doing a personal speech, I story myself by introducing about the background of myself, objective in the games. Or perhaps starting with a in joke or a banter or perhaps, you know, humour. But humour works adversity if it's wrongly done. So you have to know your audience before that. Some anecdotes, I'll start with a quote. Starting with a quote actually gives the mode the best impression on the audience. It makes the audience set in the scene, know what he's talking about, and gives them the mindset of it. I mean, drafting speech as well, you have to know your audience. If you don't know your audience, you probably end up like this gentleman speak there too. Quite, quite effective though. Knowing the audience also structures speech such that it gives you not too much information or too little information. 
It's just about the right level of reading for this page. Onto structure. So after I've planned a speech, the problem will be all about how do I actually structure my speech? Or perhaps how do I start my speech? Or how should I end my speech? Or perhaps, perhaps how should I convey the speech? A speech has three types of three things. It's been like a Lego. A speech structure is basically a Lego bricks trying to put together. So you start with an opening, introduction. The introduction has to be punchy, it has to be involved, it has to be engaging, it has arousing interest in the audience, just like how it did with the chocolate. I got interest in this topic. Then moving on to the body. The body is where you actually deliver the speech, you actually talk about the ideas, perhaps elaborate ideas. It's basically the complex, the complicity of the speech. So after you finish boring all the audience, you move on to the conclusion of it. And in conclusion is where you actually make a good impression, a good conclusion, and makes the audience remember the speech. So it has to be it has to be very, very appealing and also very influential on the speaking on the audience mind. So after you know about these structures and you come across the triad structure, there's something in the public speaking called the rule of three. Rule of three, three is a magic number. More than that, you can't remember anything. So make sure you know this purpose of speech and deliver three points only, three distinctive points. So for example, if I have a headphone and this is a tango like that, who, who hates tango like that? Or tango like that? Why do you hate them? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, annoyed. So it's so many tables here, you get annoyed quite quickly. It's, it's quite, <coughs> quite disturbing to me. And for example, if you go to Bristol City Centre and you ask for a waiter or somewhere, and it gives you loads of many directions, turn left, turn right, go ahead, go ahead, and turn left again. You would say thank you for the directions, you can't even say taxi please, because one can't remember all the other the routes you've been doing. So the idea is that you have to break down the body content to three main ideas, and these three main ideas have to be distinct of each other, so they cannot be the same or similar to each other. I have it distinctly different, you make sure that you're engaging on it, you're having something impressive or something refreshing. And also actually, you make things clear, so you make your speech quite clear on it. So what's a month is a sandwich? I was going to Subway today, and I was having, um, had a six inch foot roll. So I was watching how they make the, uh, the yeah, for myself, with three pounds. Stuff on bread, so he introduced me to Subway's in bread, piece of bread. So I picked up Dampinos and cucumber and whatever were high calories I wasted in my gym. That's the content. They concluded my bread using another piece of bread. So that's how basically how speech works, like a subway. You introduce your point, you state your point, you first you start your point saying what you're going to talk about. You move on to elaborating your point in more details. In, so you start with thesis, you go to the context with more details and throughout the details. And you wrap it up using a very punchy line, a sandwich structure, introduce, context, conclude. So you open up and you close it afterwards. So let's have a little game or a turn here. So you have a chocolate, you have a chocolate, he had a chocolate, and you had a chocolate at home. So I'd like you to, to, to introduce to introduce public speaking. I like you to probably expand the public speaking and I'd like you to actually conclude the public speaking for me using a three point rule. How do I start? Wait, what do I have to do? Introduce public speaking, for example, using that rule three. What do you mean you introduce? Any any book, in any book. Just like public speaking. So introduce anything like a way to introduce public speaking.
the triad structure and the rule of three engage the audience, engage the audience in arousing interest, it gives an impression on the audience. And it starts with actually <coughs> the structure, speech structure, so you start from the beginning, the main body, and close the body. In the context, you also have to use the rule of three, so make sure that you're not, you're not overflowing the audience and you're not actually not giving up enough information. So, three things take away with audience engagement, try structure, and the rule of three. So, thank you.